I've been going to the Grace of God Church since I was five years old. I met Lillian for the first time at a friend's wedding. He's her cousin. I used to work at City Hall, right? And I used to live in Sumare. He was working at a bank. He was living in Santo André. And we dated for two and a half years. We got engaged and then we got married. So I prayed to God and then he directed us to move to Sumare. And everything worked out well for us to live there in the year of 2001. In 2006, Lydian felt she would quit her job. God started touching and working in my heart that it was necessary to give something up in order to find balance, you know, between family and church ministry. I felt it in my heart when Dr. Swati said, don't be afraid. If God has touched your heart to sponsor this work, it's because He will give you the conditions. He will give you direction and the Sometime peace. later, the couple moved to Sao Paulo and Lillian planned starting her own business in 2016. That was when God prepared things for me to start my own business. I work with decorations for parties, right? With balloons. The name of my company is Aunt Lee and Company. And during the first year, when I had just opened the company, I didn't have great results, right? In the beginning, I had just one or two clients a month requesting my services, you know? It was a year full of difficulties. It was a time of drought, really. And I didn't have good results. I had nothing. At first, I didn't think of quitting, but I did consider to take a break, to move to something else, to maybe party gifts. But then I made the decision in the end of 2017 and beginning of 2018 to sponsor my company. It was my second sponsorship. When my wife mentioned sponsorship, I understood the hand of God was on it. Then God started working in a very special way. Things started getting better. I started having clients every weekend. And with decoration besides the balloons, we started working with panels as well for Father's Day, Mother's Day, and phrases, you know, that people put in schools, and so my kids also started helping me. They would be around all the time and all my family. Many times when we do something for church, my, my mom doesn't even charge. She says, look, pay just the expenses because it's with love. When we work with bride assistants, right, and also couples, I use this opportunity to also speak to them about the main focus of relationships and of a marriage that's blessed by God. I see our work for God. I see it as an investment. It's not investment you will receive in a year. It's not investment that you will profit from a certain time. This is something with an eternal profit. Today we live very happy every day because of what God has been doing. I now have a better source of income and now I can also contribute with money for the family and at church as well. At women's meetings, we always want to have something fancier for decoration. We know that there's still a lot to do and a lot to grow. Today, I feel I am a very happy woman. I'm a woman who knows that everything I gave up was worth it for Christ. He fulfilled all of my dreams.